JT and Dana's college ethics professor hands back their papers. Most of them were bad, but someone got an A+. Dana says that A+, is definitely hers, but it's definitely not. She says if JT keeps this up, he's going to be her favorite student. JT takes his grade and rubs that crap in his stepsister's grill. Dana goes to file a white lady complaint, but conveniently walks in on Professor Flynn, saying she's interested in JT sexually. She buttered him up with an A+, and tonight she's going to invite him to her place to teach him a lesson on ethics sexually with her vagina. Dana drops the bomb that the only reason he got that A plus is because teacher lady's trying to seduce him. JT understandably doesn't buy it. Dana says it's for realsies. She's going to invite him over tonight for a horizontal teachers conference. Because you can't say stanky nasty fuck a palooza Friday nights on ABC. The phone rings and it's Miss Teach. Professor Flynn wants JT to help her do some research about the ethical dilemma of pulling out now versus getting an abortion later. JT realizes Dana was right and celebrates in a very normal way for someone who has ever had sex before. Yes, yes, I'm dead! Dana can't believe it, because his first time should be with someone special. JT wonders how she could possibly know he's a virgin, then remembers that touchdown celebration he just did over the chance of seeing half a titty in person. She warns if he sleeps with this woman, it will be cheap, tawdry, and loveless. JT says that combo sounds fine just fine. Professor Flynn is not fucking around in her bang lair. She's got the candles lit, silk robes on, smooth jazz going, red wine flowing. This is a nice operation. JT won the goddamn lottery, but JT can't enjoy his golden ticket, spazzes out, and breaks a lamp. Professor Flynn confesses she's attracted to JT. JT thinks she's pretty too. She's the prettiest teacher he's had since kindergarten. Professor Flynn says she's going to teach him things he didn't learn in grade school, like where you can put a boner that's not behind a mathematics textbook. Teacher lady wants to do the damn thing, but JT just stammers on about wanting to get to know each other better and how he likes fishing and bass. Shit is a disaster she graciously tolerates because she's horny for his ugliest shirt. He tries to escape her den of sin, and she reassures him he doesn't have to be nervous, and she'll take care of everything for all 40 seven seconds this is about to last. What a nice teacher lady. JT calls out to God, who doesn't respond because he already delivered JT one miracle today. JT says he wants to do this, but he simply cannot, and scurries out of there harder than advanced calculus. He thanks Dana for putting all that junk in his head, because it ruined his night, and now he's going to be a virgin forever. She says he deserves that A plus in ethics class. Unless you consider masturbation in a communal family shower an ethical crime, because he's about to go do Jeffrey Dahmer numbers. So what did we learn today? If you're dumb and got an A plus, something is up, your hot teacher probably wants to bang you. But don't ruin your stepbrother's fantasy come to life with a consenting adult because you're salty you didn't get an A+. And there's nothing wrong with cheap, tawdry, and loveless for your first time. You're going to have a lot of disappointing sex in life, might as well get that party started. Because the vast majority of bummer sex will not be with a kind hot teacher lady in a silk robe offering you a glass of wine with a smooth jazz soundtrack. But if you must break her heart, don't also break her lamp. See you next time, on a very special episode.